to rock the cape <laughs> and the tights and all that. But I'm a huge movie buff, and I saw a movie over the summer. Everybody wants some. I love this movie. Thank you. Thank you. you love Thank, it. You. Thank you. That was. Uh, if you have not watched this movie, man, and you love or even know what a mixtape is, you have to check out this film. Hot man, great music. It was awesome. <laughs> short shorts, midriffs. Very uh, yeah, short yeah. shorts. Yeah, yeah. So were you kind of, uh, I don't know, freaked out the first time you had to put on the tights and the cape as a Superman? <laughs> uh, yeah, the first time it was weird because it was just like blue spandex. Because it was just for the fitting, so there was no S, no nothing, so it just looked like it Blue was Man just Group. The Blue Man Group. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so it was a How little. How much spandex is in there? Like, do you have to work out a lot to look like Superman, or does the suit kind of do it for you? Uh, I mean, the suit doesn't hurt. Uh, <laughs> suit definitely doesn't hurt. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I knew this was even like a possibility, it was kind of like, okay, back to the gym, change the routine <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. It is like walking around blue naked, pretty much. Yeah. Kinda. It's like uh, it's a very fancy wetsuit. <laughs> yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Is it really, um, is it hot? Is it cumbersome? What's it like to fly? Uh, honestly, <laughs> uh, not as warm as you think. It's actually not that bad unless you're actually out in the sun for a few hours, and then it's, eh, it gets a little, a little, it's a little clammy. toasty. Yeah, a little clammy. Yeah, um, but uh, the flying, the flying is interesting. It's, uh, it's one harness that goes only around the waist and then only up and around the legs. Uh, so all your weight sits just there. Wow! Uh, so it's, it's, that is like riding a yeah. freak horse on steroids all day. Kind of, kind of. But uh, <laughs> yeah, it's it's good to keep things in perspective. My dad's like an ER doc, and so like when anytime I'm sitting oh, there going, cool. I'm like, yeah. I was like, anytime I sit there, like, oh, this is getting a little rough. Solid. Yeah. It's easy. How was your family since dad's a doctor? Like my husband always wanted to be a rock musician. He got into Berkeley, but his parents wouldn't pay for it because they wanted him to be a lawyer. You know. So how did your family take it if you're the son of a doc that you wanted to be an actor? Uh, my parents were awesome from day one. I started over 20 years ago now, which oh my is God, crazy. As a kid. Uh, yeah, as a kid. So, uh, and my two passions were baseball and acting. So the two most unlikely professions uh, The two hardest all things time. in the right, exactly. Yeah. The two most heartbreaking professions. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Usually the ones that end in like, so what else can you do? Um, <laughs> and uh, no, they were always really supportive of it. And so they kind of made it happen for me. They really kind of put me great. in a position to do it. So they've been really supportive of the time. If you could pick your own like superhero uh, talents, what, what would you want? First of all, would you want a cape? Um, if it helps with the flying, then yes, because flying would be my number one. Because yeah, I you, love to travel, so and like, you wouldn't have to go through yeah. TSA. No, no TSA, <laughs> no TSA, no worrying about upgrades, nothing. Just where do I want to go and how quick can I get there? That would be that would be my number one. So if you're watching, if you get a gig like Superman, do you watch all of the other people that have been Superman in film and on TV and like study them, or do you just say? Man, Superman's made up. I'm gonna roll with my own Superman. I, I tend, I, I did it that way. Uh, I feel like I didn't want to have any kind of temptation to emulate or imitate anything that someone else had done. So, and the last thing you want is to do something in a scene and be like, oh, that's kind of like what so-and-so did. So I really didn't want to have any of that in mind. So I kind of went into it, um, you know, Greg and Andrew, who are the two producers uh, that I met with for the job in the first place, we kind of had a great, conversation about what we thought was interesting about Superman, what I personally found fascinating about him. Uh, so we kind of just played with those themes. And so it was really nice to be able to kind of make it our own. And I the think one that's that fits what's cool about playing so, Superman is yeah. they're not real, so you can really start, you can yeah. mold them any way you want. Yeah, there's a bit like Superman is a very strong symbol. And then the Clark Kent thing was kind of like where we got to have fun and be like, well, what version of Clark Kent is he? So like that was, that's where the, the fun kind of came in. So set up season two, is like Supergirl and Superman, are they like a super couple or like <laughs> <laughs> um, In Game of Thrones, maybe. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's uh, their cousins. It's kind of like, you know, they're the only real family that either of them still have. So um, for them to kind of be able to come together and uh, spend some time together and, you know, talk about Krypton and all these things. It's, it's just make, like a really you know, fun like, dynamic. food for each other. Yeah, totally. <laughs> I was going to say, I was so surprised that you guys did not say heat vision for oh, your yeah. superpower because you could cook because whatever you, you wanted. Because you could cook instantly. Quick as you wanted. I was like, Dang it. I don't, I don't even over. cook. I don't even cook. And I was like, it has to be. So <laughs> I have to say, I didn't see Fifty Shades of Grey. I didn't read the book or any of that. I'm, a, I'm, I'm more into mysteries than <laughs> that. Um, but Rosso told me, our producer told me that you're in Fifty Shades Darker and then Fifty Shades Free. 
Like, how do you get 50 shades darker than 50 shades? Uh, personally, I don't know. Uh, I don't even know how you audition <laughs> for that. Like, that uh, must be interesting. I had, a, I had a great meeting with the director, a uh, great director who, uh, you know, he directed Glengarry Glen Ross, who was like oh, wow. one of my favorite movies. That's and, one of the um, best movies. So uh, great. Disaster. So, so great. Um, and, you know, we, we had a great meeting, and it was just something that he's like, hey, this is something I think that you're right for. Would you come and do it? So, yeah, great. Um, so it just worked out. And, like, that's basically all I can say. It's like <laughs> they, one of those things. Situation, right, exactly, where yeah. they don't let you say anything. Nothing, un unless I just never want to work again, and it's back to, what else can you do? Um, <laughs> yeah. How far did you go with baseball? Did you ever get scouted, you think? Yeah, yeah, I went to college. Uh, I played three years of college ball. I played at Arizona State. Oh. I played at UC Irvine. Um, so, yeah, I played with some... Not bad. Some good players. I got a, a bunch of buddies. That's why it's hard to have a team now, because I have a bunch of buddies who do still play, like, in the big leagues, and so I, I root for them, I cheer for them, and then if they are in the playoffs, that becomes my playoff team. If they're not, then I get to pick whoever. Very diplomatic. So, yeah, I yeah, 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 I know. I try to be a good buddy.